Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a junk journal flip through of this completed junk journal. So I realised I never actually shared a flip through of this journal once I had completed it for the Junk Journal July challenge. So if you're new and you don't know what Junk Journal July is, I will leave all the information down below. Um, basically, it's a month long junk journal challenge that I host over on my Instagram and we also do one in January, so you haven't missed it. Go follow me over on Instagram if you're interested um, and I will be posting an announcement about the January one closer to the time. So for this journal, I used an accordion style um, binding, which basically means that there is no sewing involved. Um, and I have a tutorial um, on my channel where you can learn how to um, create a journal like this, but essentially it just kind of makes one big long journal and then you can also like use both sides of the journal as well. So it's turned out really, really chunky as you can see um, and you can just tie it together with some string just to keep it obviously nice and um, secure when you're not using it. But this was a really fun format to use for, for this challenge and I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I will leave a link down below if you're interested. I know a lot of people made the No So journal for their journal for Junk Journal July as well. So um, there's loads of inspiration under the Junk Journal July hashtag if you're looking for ideas of um, journals to make for something like this. So I just used some like scrapbook card for um, each of the covers and then just use lots of different scrap papers to assemble the pages and then just decorated the front cover just with like a label, some stickers um, and just some stamping. And then on the inside cover, so I printed this out just so that I had it to hand and I could just have it to the side so that I knew which uh, prompt I was doing for which day. And then I just kind of decorated just the inside of the cover with just some scrap pieces of paper and things like that. So for day one, the prompt was a welcome. So I kind of did one based around like obviously beginnings, starting the journal, and you'll see I really love to collage in my junk journals. Um, lots of little clusters, lots of neutrals, and lots of florals as well. So this was something that I tipped in to the journal, just an envelope, and then decorated one side and just added a little tab here just to make it easier to flip the page. So I just taped it in with some washi tape and then also did another cluster just on the bottom of the envelope here. And then I created a tag to go inside here with the date and just a bit of journaling. And it just sort of tucks in nicely there. And then another little tab just to help being able to pull it out of the pocket. So day two was highlight. So this is a envelope that I repurposed and created a tip in from so you can see here's kind of like the window of the envelope but I did some like tea staining on this side and kind of decorated it with some like little labels and things and then collaged over on this side of the envelope as well just to kind of highlight the um, image underneath and kind of frame it and then I also added a quote on top of the collaged backgrounds um, and a lot of these backgrounds are very kind of collage heavy just because of the way that I bound the journal with like scrap papers and things so I kind of kept a lot of that and worked with it so I think this was a Tombow brush marker that I used and I've just got some like flowers and little quotes and things. This is an A6 journal um, and I love working quite small. It was really manageable for a challenge like this to work on a smaller scale. And I, you can just see here how the pages fold out like this with the accordion style. It was nice to be able to spread out the journal and work on a flat surface, especially as it got more bulky. Day number three was a botanicals and I just had to use a lovely, gorgeous botanical illustration from Vintage Book and just sort of themed this around um, botanicals and again coming in with my stamping. Day four was details. So I focused on a lot of details on the elements of my page. So thinking about like the coffee staining, little stamps and even just the intricate details of the elements that I was using, the different scrap papers. Um, and I really enjoyed the like tea staining element of this and how it kind of brought everything together, especially across 
um, multiple pages. So that's just a bookmark that I had. Um, there was a tutorial that Joey Defee did on how to make like a bookmark with, um, I believe it has pockets. Yeah, it's got pockets in it. Um, and I was just using this as a bookmark so I knew for each day sort of my place in the journal. So yeah, as I was saying, it's really nice to have the tea stained effect because I felt like it created like a real cohesive look throughout the journal. Day five was vintage, again something else that I really love and so I just kind of used some like vintage papers and again doing like the tea staining and working with the collaged um, elements of the pages already, adding in some florals, things like that. Nothing too intricate really, I was just kind of focusing on doing like a quick, you know, maybe 15 minute page, something like that, just to get something down for the day. Day six was minimalist, this is a tag that I added on, so I wanted to add some journaling. In terms of the just base page, um, I just did it on one side and just used like a receipt and some rub -on stickers to add some detail, a bit of stamping and then some like splotchy white paint but just kind of focused on one side to give it that more minimalist look but then I did want to come in and add one of these tags that I'd made and there's just some writing on the other side but that just meant that I didn't have to add the writing to the page there. So day seven was envelope and for this one I decided to tip in like a clear glassine envelope and then I just stapled on some ribbon and then decorated it here with some collage and some stickers um, and so you'll see a theme like I really just love using like little tiny bits and creating like little collage clusters in the corners of my pages um, and again this tea stain is just something that I really really loved um, experimenting with in this journal um, and it's definitely something that I want to bring into some of my other journals so sometimes I just like flipping through my journals like my old completed ones just for like inspiration and things if I'm like stuck for ideas or don't know what to do in my journal so this is day eight and nine so I didn't actually make enough pages for this journal so I decided to combine some of the pages and just do like a page on each side so day eight was a wanderlust so I just picked a quote about travel and then day nine was pattern so I picked out some um, elements of like scrapbook papers and things I had um, this was just like some note paper that I had that had like a sort of pick box pattern on it, some stripes. This was um, actually an old Christmas card that had like little star patterns on it, some grid washi tape. I basically just kind of played around with different patterns um, on this page. So sometimes there's not like documenting going on. I'm just kind of basically collecting things that I like onto a page um, and just using my junk journal Kind of in that fashion so there's not loads of like writing or anything in this it's very much more on the like art side of um journaling with kind of just like playing with papers and things like that day 10 was trash to treasure so really focusing in on like the junk side of junk journaling so i was using some packaging that i had from something i'd bought um a do not bend sticker that i got off something that was in the post um, and just using different little scraps and things that were on my desk that I would have otherwise just put in the bin. So that's probably one of the main reasons I love junk journaling is like turning something into something else. Like taking things that would otherwise just probably go in the bin or in the recycling and um, using them within my journal and seeing what I can come up with. So day 11 was favourite supply and you'll see on this page there's a lot of washi tape and that's because washi tape is my favourite supply. I have quite a few washi tapes in my collection and I just love to add them to my pages. So I love like tipping things in with them and also like adding them to my like collage clusters and things, using them as like background elements. I just think they're so versatile so that's kind of how I um, decided to approach this page was to just use lots of different washi tapes and then this is just a uh, photo that I took from a gardening book. I just loved how those flowers looked and just decided to make that kind of the focal 
uh, point of the page and then just did a bit of writing about washi tape over on um, this side of the page. So day 12 was in the garden. So I decided to grab some of my like gardening books and things that I have in my collection um, and used, you'll see here, this piece of paper is from like a book about flowers. Um, and then I also have a really old um, book. It's falling apart because it's from like 1915, I believe. Um, the pages are like really brittle. Um, when I found it at the charity shop, it it was really, it had seen better days. So I didn't feel too bad about actually using it um, because it, it was literally falling apart. So I cut out some of the um, text from that just because I really loved the like look of the, the typeface of this. Um, and it also matched obviously like gardening, sort of in the garden type. Um, theme to this page and I didn't really want to add too much more to this I kind of did a bit of a minimalist page with this I was happy with how the like papers underneath kind of collage together and things and um, this is actually an envelope you can see there it says Royal Mail underneath so I really do use everything uh, within my journals and um, yeah I really enjoyed how this one turned out this page um, day 13 was morning so I decided to use this um, illustration from a postcard. So this is actually by um, Daisy over at My Green Cow. Um, I cut out this illustration from a postcard because it was a cup of like tea or coffee and I thought that was quite fitting for obviously a morning page. I did a little quote here and then this is like um, from a coffee bag. Um, when we got some coffee so I used that as a background piece as well because obviously it fit the theme and um, I must have bought some yarn <laughs> for my crochet and just decided to um, add some of that packaging in there. Day 14 was monochrome so I decided to keep this page very very neutral and just had this um, botanical illustration as the focal point and then just did a little bit of collaging here so like a barcode and things um, I think that's something I must have stamped and it didn't come out right um, but again also using little like illustrations and um, quotes and things but yeah I just kept this really kind of neutral to fit in with the monochrome theme day 15 so again I did another split page so this prompt was layered so I just did a layered collage with a few different elements that I had to hand um, also added like a tab on the top of the page here that was from some packaging as well but it just had a really beautiful illustration on it and then cut out this illustration as well just to add as a focal point for this page. Um, day 16 was borders so I decided to take this prompt and work up the side of one of the pages so that it's kind of like the border of the page so I used lots of different elements so some like ribbon stickers and floral elements some book pages I know it's kind of a thick border but that's kind of the nice thing about these prompts is you can kind of interpret them um, however you'd like and then day 17 was paint so I decided to do a gouache illustration um, just in the corner and then kind of left the rest more plain to focus on the illustration and I also have a process video of um, creating this spread on my channel so I'll leave a link down below for that and this is just a file folder that I um, stuck onto the cover I'd cut out the bit that had just the pocket and things and just added like a tag in there and some other bits and pieces just to collect things kind of like in the back of my journal and then it just kind of ties up with this nice fastening so that was a really nice element to use and then this is the fun part of the journal because now we go to the opposite side so now we're working kind of on the other side of the journal so day 18 was quote so I just used a tag here to just write a quote on it with a white pen and just kept it really simple really with just some collage on there Day 19 was Happy Mail and I think this is probably one of my favourite spreads in this journal. I just love how this came together. I used some old stamps, um, I used some bits and pieces that I'd actually received in Happy Mail from some uh, friends and things 
and I just really love how this came together. Left some space so I could do some writing here as well. And I also stapled a bit of lace trim onto the edge of the page just for some extra interest. And yeah, I just really love how this page turned out. Day 20 was collage cluster. So I decided to focus here on a little cluster around this cute little tag that I found. Um, and I just sort of stamped on like the date and things with the stencil. Um, added some washi tape and other sort of scraps and things um, and just kind of left it at that really I didn't feel the need to add too much more to that so some of these pages are like really quick especially because I was creating them like every single day and then day 21 was relax and I actually had um, a video call with one of my friends um, that day and we kind of journaled and, and I also added um, the photo from the crochet pattern I was following at the time just to kind of fit in with like the relax theme. Day 22, I also really love this page as well. This one was textured. So I used kind of some more textural elements with this um, lace and things and just looking at different things that I could add to the page. So I think this is like some packaging. We've got like an old tag, some like things from envelopes, all sorts of different scraps we've got like some brown paper that is like all wrinkled and things i also added some bits of paint and um stamping so there's a lot going on on this page um but it was quite fun to kind of go through my stash and pick out different things that i thought might add some nice texture to my page then day 23 this was negative space so again i was working just on one side of the page um, and this is obviously the negative space of the page. And I just really love how soft this page is with um, how this sort of uh, translucent element layers onto it um, and just a little bit of writing there. And again, I added a tag just so that I could add some writing um, sort of hidden underneath. Um, and I love this little like scrappy um, element of the tags at the top as well. Day 24 was sparkle. So I added some little like star sparkles with um, a white pen. Also, I had some tissue paper that I don't know if you can see it had some little like sparkly bits on it. So I decided to add that to my page as well. Um, I think it's over here too. Um, and again, just doing like little like collage clusters as well because I just kind of do them on all my pages. Um, and just adding in some like pops of pink to this as well, um, instead of it being just more neutral. Day 25 was photograph. So I used a photo of a flower that I had in um, one of my sort of vintage books and just decided to have that as a focal point. So this is the other half of the file folder kind of envelope and I just tipped it in with just some sellotape and sort of collaged a bit on the other side just so that I had some space to add another one of these tags into the page. Came in with my corner rounder as well, which I think added a nice touch. I did this really tiny little like cutout of a sort of poem here or like a quote, some stamping up in the corner. And yeah, this was quite a fun page to work on just with all the different elements going on. And then day 26 was warmth. So I decided to really pick out some elements that had some like warmer tones to them, um, especially with like the orange flower and things like that. Some stamping on the tags, um, some more fussy cutting because I absolutely love fussy cutting different things. And again, just yeah, using different like little scraps and things. I absolutely love how some of this tea staining looks, especially with like stamping as well. It's definitely something that I want to have a play around with in some of my other journals. And then day 27 was thankful. This is another page that I really love. I think I just really love when there's like lots of small elements and details um, because it's really fun to put together. Uh, and then it's also really fun to look at afterwards and kind of spotting all the different elements. You know, I was using stickers from some flowers I had got, all different bits and pieces. There's even some like stitching up here from something I was trying to stitch. Um, so I just decided to add that in there. Then for day 28, the prompt was stencil. So I decided to stencil um, the 28 with a 
number stencil that I had and then fill it in with just some white paint. And then I just have some more collaging up here, um, some little like cutout elements and these little label stickers I really love just for adding the dating and sort of stamping it with my um, date stamp. And then for day 29, the prompt was growth. So this quote here that is from Morgan Harper Nichols um, is kind of a growth inspired quote, if you will. Um, Small progress is still progress. So that was kind of the focus of this page. And then I collaged around it. This is actually just a full page that I had decided to put into the journal to use as a journal page but then once I got to it I realized I didn't actually want to cover it up I thought it was too nice and then as I've been tea staining like throughout this journal it was kind of coming through onto other pages but I kind of love how that looks and just kind of the the detailing around the edge so yeah I couldn't bear to cover that up so I just left that and just decided to focus on this side of the page instead um, and I love this kind of pink and reddish uh, washi tape as well just for another pop of colour and then day 30 was doodle so this is a sketch doodle if you will um, that I had done with a white pencil onto some black card so I just decided to stick it in and then I added another little doodle here and I believe I must have got up some pictures of like lace and things on like Pinterest and then um, decided to do like the doodle kind of inspired by the different lace designs because I really like the intricacies of that so yeah just decided to add a little bit of that didn't want to kind of go overboard and do the whole page but it's nice as a little element and then finally day 31 was reflections so i kind of used this just as a little reflection on what i had learned from doing the 31 day challenge so there's a few little uh reminders for you um and i love the when in doubt coffee because that's kind of in reference to all the coffee that i've been adding throughout this journal because i found that when i was on a page and i wasn't enjoying how it was going i just decided to grab the little coffee jar that i had and just put some coffee on the page and it seemed to bring it together so um, yeah when in doubt coffee coffee will always solve things so and again I couldn't bear to cover up this illustration so I just decided to leave it and focus on this side of the page um, and I just added a nice little wax seal it was almost like a little celebration and um, that I had finished the 31 days of the junk journal July challenge um, and then that is everything for this journal so yeah it got really really chunky um, and it was so much fun to do so i hope you've enjoyed seeing a flip through of this journal hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys